Watching my next guest bat is like watching a video game come to life. He's popularly known as Sky. When he's on the strike, there's no place to hide. Some poetry for y'all. Hi, I'm Nihal Ranjit. You're watching My Big Resolution by Aditya Birla Group, where we speak with the big personalities about the big resolution that changed their lives. We're joined today by India's very own Mr. 360. Please welcome Surya Kumar Yadav, everybody. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Good, man. Surya, tu ek number ahe. <laughs> I have this be beautiful flower for, for you. Forget that, yeah. It's for you, sir. Main ek number hai? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I studied some Marathi just for you. This, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so, what, what, shall I, what shall I call you? Anything, whatever you're I'll call you Sir Sky. Sir, sir, there will be one sir, I know. <laughs> sir, Sachin. Sir, Sachin. Okay, then I'll call you Sky, okay? That's good. So, uh, you know, I'm, one thing I'm really fascinated about you is your tattoos. How many tattoos do you have? Uh, I think more than, more than 10 now. Okay. Yeah, more than 10, 10, 11 tattoos. What's your favorite tattoo? Favorite one, obviously, uh, it's, uh, it's my mom, dad's name. If you... I, it doesn't go back, but yeah, yeah. Oh yeah my mom, dad's so name, it's called as Ambigram. Okay. So one way, if you read it, it's it's my dad's name and the other way, it's my mom's name. Oh, very so cool. So that was very the first cool. one which I got. What do you think I should get and where? Uh, you can obviously get a portrait of something. Portrait of something? Oh, like, yeah. what about a face maybe? Face tattoo on the neck perhaps? Yeah, you can. You can do you think I could pull it off? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Easy. thank you. Because my mom's watching this. You, you think I'd pull it off, right? Auntie. <laughs> Let him go for it. Thank you. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Sir, so what I want to know is, can you tell me the exact moment you knew cricket was going to be your career? I still remember when I was 14. Uh, I used to I used to play badminton back then from 11 till 13. Okay. And I wasn't getting a lot of time away from home. Mm. Badminton was a short game. Yeah. And but in cricket, I used to go in the morning and come in the evening. So that's how I started uh, taking interest in this sport. Okay. Yeah. So I had, so I could bunk my school, <laughs> my tuitions. Don't do that, kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, I used to do that and uh, get a lot of time away from home. And I used to, and then I started enjoying uh, playing that sport, and that's how I uh, took it. Ahead. So, but why was badminton so short? Like you kept losing all the matches <laughs> very quickly, or what was? Not really. I mean, I used to come back home in an hour. Ha. Huh. That was too less. You just used to... Yeah, I got bored of it. Bored of that sport. Okay. It is an exciting sport. I still okay. play that, but no, no, clip him, clip him, clip him. Do you remember the first time someone asked you for an autograph? Autograph, uh, it was when I was 19, I still remember, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I was I was playing a state game only, but here at, uh, here in Mumbai and I scored a double hundred. That was the first time a kid, he was under 14, uh, he asked me for an autograph. So that was also very special. How, how did you feel at that time? Very good. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Were you like smiling or were you just like, yeah, sure? No, no, of course I was smiling. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> Now here's an important question. Um, do you remember the first time you were in an interview and the host gave you a flower and a gift and you felt very touched <laughs> and very happy? Do you yeah, remember that? I mean, just let me see. Uh, yeah, 19th December huh. 2022 yes. at uh, 3, 5 There it is, like it. his words, not mine. Okay. So you made your uh, debut for India at the age of 30. How did you overcome that big challenge of waiting that long to make the debut? I mean, uh, to be very frank, it was it was very difficult. I was still playing domestic cricket, still playing IPL. Mm. And then when I got married in 2016, and when I came back to my franchise, Mumbai Indians in 2018, then, then was the time me and my wife, we, we decided, we've been playing first class cricket for about seven years now, mm. IPL for a few years. What is that one thing which is stopping you? So, so we started discussing what's that one, one or two things which you can do differently so that you can move ahead in the right direction. Right. Then I started doing a proper diet. Uh, instead of doing quantity, a lot of quantity practice, I started doing quality practice sessions and uh, some discipline, some routines in my life. I'm like mm. sleeping at about 9, 10 p.m. in the night, not doing, not doing late nights. So those were the two, three things which I started doing from 2017-18, which eventually, uh, I mean, helped me 
when i came in 2020 then i had a good season in ipl in 2021 that was the first golden what, call up for india what was some of the food that you had to sacrifice wow oh here we go <laughs> <laughs> i used to i used to love uh, love lot of biryanis i mean hmm. i used to eat e- easily eat two portions of that okay in one sitting yeah in one sitting oh, wow. and then followed by any desert followed by, okay followed yes, by more. any desert so that was one thing which i sacrificed at that time mm. and used to go uh, do a lot of late nights with my friends mm. go out come late then uh, 8 am practice sessions i wouldn't be fresh training sessions i i used to miss a lot of time so that was a uh, few things which we discussed during that time and uh, later on we corrected it and it really helped me Sky, so you were doing well in domestic and IPL cricket, but you always wanted to wear that blue jersey. So, what was that one big resolution you made for yourself to help you chase that dream? Uh, during that time, I still remember I I became very desperate uh, to to play for India. I wanted wanted that cap very badly. Wanted to wear that jersey quickly. So that was that was one time uh, which I thought I'll I'll take take that out. uh from my from my thoughts completely and start working towards my goal and follow follow those small small steps for small routines which i had set and eventually i'll get there so uh what was the hardest uh, part about uh, keeping that resolution uh the hardest part uh, to watch the india games on tv where i am playing a domestic game and there india games going on in different country or anywhere and looking at the situation what what the boys are doing i was thinking what if i was there in the situation i would have done this i would have done that sleeping over that thought mm. where that i will be there i i i must i would have done this that was one thing which was a little difficult at that time so you and virat you guys have a term known as survir survir yeah survir yeah very cool can you tell us a little bit about that bromance <laughs> I mean we've been uh, we've been batting together for for a few games in the last last 6 7 months and had amazing partnerships on the field and off the field as well we've been spending a lot of time mm. in team activities or meeting for dinner going to the pool sessions going to the gym together and on the ground the same thing what we do off the field it it actually follows on the ground of course we respect each other's game when we are batting together but at the same time we have a lot of fun when when we are batting You won't believe when we are batting together, we don't talk about cricket. Mm. We we talk about different things. What we'll do tomorrow in the gym. What we do in the team activity. So the pressure at that time it comes down a little bit. Right. So you guys go out for like dinners quite frequently. Yeah. yeah I mean, just uh, the two of you? No, not oh, no. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. I was. <laughs> I just met like the homies. That's fine. No, four five people together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Huh. But gym sessions definitely together. Got it, got it. Uh, gets lo- g- gives me a lot of motivation, inspiration when he's training around. Hmm. So I've told the trainer whenever he's training, put me in that slot. Oh wow, okay, very cool. So do you try to like outrun him on the treadmill? No no no, 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 no. You're chill. Like Not that. really. Okay, fine. Whenever he's around in the gym, there's a lot of motivation. Got it. So yeah, so out of all your accomplishments, personal and professional, what is the big milestone for you? I think it is yet to be achieved. Wow. Still I mean there's a long way to go. I mean I've just started just come into international cricket and feeling good whatever is happening around me. And uh, I'm very curious about this. What does the ultimate Surya Kumar cheat meal look like? Laid on us. Uh so so as I said before what I what I sacrificed that time. Mm. So it's not a cheat meal. I haven't. Uh, I don't say it as a cheat meal now. I reward myself. Oh, oh, right wow. Okay, so that's, that's one way to put yeah, it. So, yeah. So it's simple. Okay. So it's not a cheat meal. I, whenever I do well, so that evening or that night, I have to reward myself. Yeah. So. So I really look forward to that meal when I'm going for a game. Got it. Got it. You do well, you eat it. So tell us what your last uh, cheat meal was. It was a biryani ha huh. with a nice brownie and vanilla ice cream. Uh in life we all have one person who is uh, who stands by us, constantly motivates us. Who in your life was that big person? Before I got married? 
no, I mean, it, <laughs> I, I leave it to you. I leave it to you. I don't want you in trouble. Uh, if if we talk about present, obviously my wife, uh, she's been standing really strong hmm. by my side uh, because uh, she uh, she has seen me when I was literally struggling to to go to another level. She saw something that that I could go even further. Hmm. So she travels with me everywhere. Does she love coming on tour with you? Oh yes. Mm. Even if she doesn't, I drag her. <laughs> That's because true. I have seen whenever she is around, I am very calm and composed. So when she is around, everything is fine. That's so sweet. So tell me about love at first sight. Where did you meet your wife? Ah, uh, it's an interesting story. Ah, uh, I I was actually sitting right opposite Podar College, on that what do you call it a katta. I was sitting there having sandwiches with my friend. Then I see a girl walking to from uh, Roya College, going towards Podar. She was also in Podar. She was junior mm. at that time. And I saw her the first time. My friend is coming out of the college. I waved at him, and he is waving at someone else. <laughs> and I thought, who is this guy waving to? And then when he came to me, I told him, "Boss." Who are you talking to? I was waving at you. You have to talk to me first. Of course. And then he's like, she's my friend, uh, blah blah blah, and all that. Then I said, uh, any introduction? <laughs> any chance? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I was, I was part of Mumbai Indians at that time. This is back in 2012. Okay. And I was just about to go for a India A series. Hmm. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Baat to kara, yar, thoda. And that time. Uh, 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 was the time of BlackBerry, BBM. Ah, yes, yes, yes. मतलब BBM पे add करा दे, बात कर लेंगे, कुछ हो जाएगा तो देखते हैं फिर. Then BBM पे भी declined. Facebook में I started messaging. वहाँ पे भी no revert. Then I thought, what do I do? Then I started calling her friend, her best friend. Okay. Then she was like. That he's a genuine guy. You should talk to him. And then, when I reached New Zealand, with the time difference, I used to be uh, up early in the morning. And then we started talking. Mm. And then slowly, slowly, our relationship started building. So now, uh, New Year's is coming. What are the plans? My schedule is empty. If you wanna, uh, let me know. So you are in Mumbai. Yeah. Let's let's catch up. We let's can catch up. Really? Yeah, yeah. You guys heard that? No, it's on camera. But Nihal, let's catch up. Yeah, ah, okay. yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. Cool. Okay, so before I let you go, one last question. Um, what is your big resolution for 2023? 2023. Yes. Um, there's there's a there's a World Cup coming up in 2023. Mm-hmm. One day World Cup. Uh, it's in India. Let's lift the trophy in front of oh, our Indian wow. fans. So is. that's one. Hmm. That's the one main resolution. Okay. And rest, I as I said, I don't try and set a lot of goals or hmm. don't make too many resolutions. I try. I'm a strong believer of uh, my process and routines. So rest, all goals they follow by. That's amazing. It was an absolute <laughs> pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you Very so nice. much yes. for coming on. Yes, sir. Thanks. So that was the charismatic Sky. His discipline, maintaining a routine, and going low on biryani has been the big resolution that has kept him going. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Until next time, this is my big resolution by Aditya Birla Group. Don't forget to tell us your big resolution in the comments. <laughs>